The Joint Parliamentary Committee probing the ongoing doctor strike, which entered its third month, quickly degenerated into a war of words as the then Health Permanent Secretary Mark Board disowned the controversial CBA. He is alleged to have signed three months after his tenure had ended. At that time, the, the union was dilly-dallying, was changing. They were changing things. So were you signing something that you knew was wrong or were you signing something that you knew was right? Because if people were dilly-dallying, were you signing something that you know that it was not going to be workable? Or did yes. you sign with your conscience knowing that this thing was workable? You are not the peers at the time of signing of the same uh, agreement. True or false? It is true I was not yes, a peer. Let, 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 let's continue. Mm. Yeah, yes or no? You are no. not a peer. No. So signing the same, this, this document is legal. A visibly infuriated board insisted the 2013 CBA was an intermediate document and the contentious Appendix A touching on Dr. Spey was never discussed. Whether the document was signed by the Ministry of Health and that whether the document was legal, I would like to say what, we were, what I said myself, although it substantially meant there, were, there was progress in discussions, was not the final document that would be submitted for registration. The final document would emerge only after the Ministry of Health has properly constituted with the permanent secretary and the, and the, and the government secretary. It, it would only be that ministry would, would own it and finalize the negotiations. As you can see, Mr. Chairman, the Honorable Chairman, the Ministry of Public Health at no more. MPs lashed out at him for allegedly making a decision that has plunged the country into a health crisis with a section of legislators querying his integrity and credibility, demanding he be placed on oath. Get to um, oath so that all the information that uh, is going to say any, uh, in this house can be used anywhere, even in the court of law. This sparked a new round of hostilities and it was not long before he was declared a hostile witness and ordered out of the meeting. You signed this document as the permanent secretary, Ministry of Public Health and Sanitation, which at that particular time did not exist. Now, you were not the peers. Uh, and even if, you, if you, you say that this document that was signed was meant to be a provisional document, yes. where is that evidence? actually refused to respond to the questions that we've asked him and because of that because of that we'll ask you to leave because you've taken so much of our time and actually answered nothing you are taking us around and round and uh, we are going to look for recourse on how to deal with you the committee hinted at the possibility of summoning a former health CS James Masharia and former PS Sigor to shed more light. Governors led by the Council of Governors Chair Peter Munya, present at the meeting, pushed to have 2013 CBA declared illegal to pave way for fresh talks independent of the CBA contents. We, are, we have brought the health sector to a, a standstill, completely destroyed it on the basis of a document that is fraudulent, signed by somebody who and ceased working for the Ministry of Health. It's, it's very grave, Mr. Chairman. We are uttering in court, you know, presenting to court documents that are fraudulent. A document knowing very well that he did not have the legal mandate or authority to sign that document. The development coming as KMPD officials stuck to their guns, insisting they'll not engage in talks outside the documents, insisting the settlement was engineered by Health uh, Ministry. SRC, Public Service Commission, Health uh, CS Cleo Pamailu, and his peers, Nicholas Muraguri, also appeared before the joint team. Linus Moshigadi for Channel 1 News.